It's another season of Ushirika, your favorite TV series that focuses on cooperatives in Kenya. And we begin in Kisi, where we are featuring Wa Kenya Pamoja Sako. Ushirika with Alex Chamwada. Wa Kenya Pamoja Sako was established by coffee farmers in 1976. It started as a section of uh, Kisi Coffee Farmers Union, and this was a section called the Union Banking Section of the Coffee Farmers Union. Initially, all coffee societies partnered with the up and banking section of the union, which was paying the farmers their dues after sales. The entity later became autonomous in 1992 under the name Gusi Farmers Rural Sako Society Limited. At the same time, it opened its common bond. It uh, had to expand to include the members of the T T farmers. And then we had uh, salaried people, like uh, employees of uh, various institutions, like uh, employees of KTDA, employees of schools also came in. Then we opened it to the public and not only the coffee farmers. When it came to the year 2008, it further changed the name from Gusi Rural Farmers Sako into Wakenya Pamoja, so that it would have a national outlook. Because when it was Gusi, that means it was limited to Gusi. The society was formed under the Cooperative Societies Act and Regulations. Come April 2011, the SACO was licensed to conduct deposit taking SACO business subject to the provisions of the SACO Societies Act. Here we are now uh, serving members, not only the coffee farmers, but uh, including even the business people who have also come in to buy shares and become members, and also financing table banking groups. The SACO operates both front office and back office activities in four counties, that is Kisi, Nyamira, Homabe, and Migori. The head office is situated in Kisi town at Darajamoja along Kisi Sotik Road. Currently, we have uh, 115,000 members. Most of them are farmers with the small, small income from coffee, tea, and all the, those uh, daily farmers. Wakenya Pamoja Sako asset base totals to 1.6 billion Kenyan shillings. And uh, we have tea posts from the members so totals to uh, 780. 80 million Kenyan shillings. And then uh, loans that uh, we have given to our members totals to 650 million Kenyan shillings. We have 28 coffee societies in the whole of Goosey land. And all these coffee societies, they come to us for financial assistance. Wakenya Pamoja Sako has enabled us as a society to put up a store for our new branch. It has enabled us to do fish farming. So when the site does not have cash, we go to Wakenya Pamoja to get what we call processing materials for our coffee. And to say that we have to advance our school fees, we have to give a seed to the Gununua Chakura Yangombe. We recommend to talk up and give it to Lynette Mawasi is a proud member of the SACO. She says the SACO has enabled her to expand her retail business. Kabra ninge kwa duka nilikuwa kwa kibanda. Nikapata mkubwa kutoka wa Kenya pamoja. Nikapata duka kubwa nikapanga saa hii. Bada ya kubanga duka kubwa na wana piyasa rangu inaendelea kuna wili. Kutoka hii biyasara, hindi wanatoa besa na libia mtoto wangu. School visa. Imenua kashamba. Kubitia kwa hii biyasara yangu. Naona hii biyasara, 
ikiendelea hivi nitafanya mambo mingi Wa Kenya pamoja sako attributes its growth to the strong partnership it has with the Cooperative Bank of Kenya Cooperative Bank is a, like our, our mother this is our main bank in all our operations when we have liquidity problems like uh, we had we have had in the past they are, they, they are there to give us the funds to make sure that we continue operating. We have our own building at Ogembo. When we are building it, the corporate bank assisted us with some loan to enable us to finish it. But we have refunded all that loan and the building is now ours. We are partnered with the co corporate bank in the field of agents banking. Corporate bank has given us the gadgets. They have their uh, outlets, their agents, members of Wakenya Pamoja can withdraw from the agents of Cooperative Bank wherever they are. Cooperative Bank has been able to partner with the SACO in terms of capacity building. This is training the board in terms of how you can have effective leadership in the SACO, uh, training the management as well on the proper lines of management and how you can handle staff issues. Also, in the uh, staff who are running the SACO, the bank through COP consultants has been able to do what we call capacity building or build, bringing up this staff to the level that is acceptable in handling financial institutions. Uh, also, a, a very important service that we have been able to give them is what we call circle personal checks. It uh, enables those business entities that are banking in Wakenya Pamocha to give or to make payments through their accounts in Wakenya Pamocha rather than making their payments through the banks. We have also partnered with them in terms of uh, ICT, that's about mobile banking and uh, the ATM network. Their members also have the, the Visa branded debit cards, uh, which then uh, gives continuous services to their members. They are using our mobile banking platform, the MCOPCash, which they are able to give their members to access their funds instantly. It's one of the circles that has large transactions uh, on, on MCOPCash platform. So their members are using our mobile banking platform, uh, which as you know is a wallet, to be able to give their members uh, services. Wa Kenya Pamoja Sako's core values include focus, integrity, teamwork, innovativeness and professionalism. It's a circle that we've been very proud of working with. They pay promptly uh, and because of that then uh, the farmers have huge confidence in, in the circle. The corporate bank in general is like our elder brother who is very handy, who helps us, can get hold of you, where you don't, you don't sink. Without it, we could have sunk some time, but with it, now there is no sinking. Indeed, the circle has achieved its objective of improving the livelihoods of its members. It's either nine apple, but I'm going to pay for it. I'm going to pay for it, but I'm going Ngane kanunua michi, ngalete hapa nga, ngapana, nganunua eh, CN, watu walipandea mimi hiyo nini, hiyo eh, miti. Ngansa kununua mbolea ya kuweka hii chai. Kwa hivyo hiyo wa Kenya pamocha sako, mimi misaitia mimi sana. Before I joined wa Kenya pamoja, I had a children's home in a, a rented place. So I wanted to have my own land where I can capitalize on money I use on rent, capitalize money I use on expenses and all that one with children. So when I walked to Kenya Pamoja, I opened the account. I remember 100 shillings and I put 500 shillings in as a retainer. Then uh, after three months, I had done some small banking with them. I asked them if they can give me a loan so that I can come buy a small land or I do something like... Uh, get a land and build. So they came to my house, took pictures of what I have, and they said I qualify uh, 250,000. So I purchased that small piece of land, and uh, I, I build small, small houses. Now I could take care of the children so comfortably, me be comfortably, because the land I am now is mine. Wow, quite informative. 
quite inspiring. And that's the power of Ushirika. We are glad you found time to be with us on this inaugural episode of the series and be sure to join us again next week. Same time, same channel. And from Kisi, I'm Alex Chamwada. Many thanks for watching.